Offiziell präsentiert von der Eva Auto Classics. Eyes on Target. Und unseren Partnern Geco Ammunition und VfG Weapon Care. Herzlich willkommen bei Low Ready Media. Ich bin der Ferdi von Foxhot Echo Media und heute live auf der IWA 2023 unterwegs. Jetzt bin ich bei Pulsar, äh, bei Ludas. Ludas, how is it going? It's all good, man. It's all good. It's been busy. There's a lot of people in the booth. You're gonna have to trust me. There's a lot of people there. <laughs> uh, we brought a lot of new stuff, so you know there's high interest. Mm -hmm. It's very nice to see IWA back to its full power. Yeah, the from from last year, but yeah, it's good. All right, uh, what what did you bring today? I see something new products here. Yes, yeah, so we brought many new products. Uh, I need to kind of dig out and select the most important ones, especially for the German market. But here we have a new Telos LRF XP50 um, high-end monocular that is essentially replacing the Helion series, much beloved Helion series. Okay, translated. Um, es gibt ein neues Monokular, was die Helion-Serie auf jeden Fall ersetzt. Und um, ja, schauen wir mal, was die Eigenschaften sind. What are the specs? So, there's the specs are, it's still an R XP50. So, you have 640 by 480, 17 micron uh, sensor, different from the XP Pro series that we were using. And this one, we're starting a new generation of sensitivity, and that is below 18 millikelvin NETD. So super, super sensitive, super smooth um, sensor. Uh, it's combined with the already our standard 50 millimeter 1.0 aperture lens. Um, so in combination and with the display, you have this, you know, super clear, very sharp image. That's going to take you to, you know, even in the worst type of conditions, you're still going to be able to see the image quite clearly. Für die unsere deutschen Zuschauer eine 50 mm Objektivdurchmesser mit einer 1,0er Linse, also wirklich richtig offenblendig, 640 Pixel lange Kante und 18 Mikro Kelvin in der Auflösung maximal. Yeah. So, taking it further, uh, we have a new battery pack system. The, the good thing about it is you can charge it directly through Type-C. You don't need a battery charger. All right. So any Type-C cable will work. We also have wireless, wireless charging that, you know, while you're driving in a car, you just drop it on your mat and it's charging. Um, this is gonna, a battery pack that we're going to be using in a lot of new products. So don't be scared of another new one. So like an ecosystem. Yes, mm -hmm. as we love our ecosystem. <laughs> um, also, something that we've been constantly asked for for Helions is to have a laser rangefinder. So we have the one integrated here. So you can, you know, you can combine the high-end uh, monocular with the laser rangefinder. Big thing before I go, give it to you for translation. In the front, you see two focus rings. So essentially, this is a focus ring as mm -hmm. usual second one that's your digital magnification ring so instead of using buttons mm -hmm. you can do a really fine magnification with with this and kind of give you that tactile and almost analog and feeling of like with you. no with no stats exactly nice all right also für unsere deutschen zuschauer wir haben hier einen neuen akku um, der ist mit dem ganzen neuen System kompatibel also es werden noch viele produkte kommen die damit kompatibel sind demnach ist es ein neues e ecosystem um, aufladbar mit einem USB-C-Kabel und ebenfalls kabellos über diese QI-Plattform einfach ins Auto zum Beispiel legen oder wenn man so eine Docking Station hat. Dazu Laser Rangefinder, also das heißt Entfernungsmesser mit Laser, kann man genau festlegen, feststellen, wie weit das Ziel entfernt ist. Und als nächstes haben wir hier noch die Bedienelemente, einmal den Fokusring, damit kann man stufenlos fokussieren und dazu haben wir auch noch eine, die digitale Vergrößerung, die findet nicht mehr über die Tasten statt, wie gewohnt, sondern man kann hier, wie als hätte man einen mechanischen Zoom so ähnlich, rein- und rauszoomen. Right, so all this already makes for a really good, a good product, uh, but there's another big thing within this. So essentially with the Telos, we are launching a product line of upgradable devices. What does that mean is we're going to have Whichever you start from, Telos XP, Telos XQ, with LRF, without laser rangefinder, you can later down the road upgrade it. So let's say we come out with a new feature that requires a hardware upgrade or a new sensor. 
you instead of buying a totally new device, you can register, send it to us, mm -hmm. we'll do the upgrade, and you only pay for the upgrade instead of the whole new device. So essentially making this the only monocular you will ever need. Mm -hmm. And whenever it comes out in the future, we will be able to upgrade it. All right. Also mit dem mit dieser Veröffentlichung von dem Produkt kommt nicht nur ein einzelnes neues Produkt, sondern ein kompletter neuer Service von dieser Firma Pulsar. Und zwar, wenn es neue Internals gibt, also wenn es neue technischen Änderungen gibt, dann müsst ihr euch kein neues Gerät mehr kaufen, sondern ihr könnt das Gerät einschicken zu Pulsar. Das wird ein Upgrade durchgeführt, also werden die Internals, die Bauteile aktualisiert und man hat sein alten, das alte Gehäuse wieder zurück mit den neuen Features, mit den neuen Eigenschaften von den neueren Generationen. Um, yeah, so we're planning to have these, especially this version, the um, Telos LRF XP50, out in the market in about a month from now. So um, this, this version? This version, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, we are planning to launch the upgrade program in the beginning of 2024. Mm -hmm. But if you buy this now, it's already upgrade enabled. Mm -hmm. It's just as soon as the program launches, you can still, if, if you bought the device before the program was launched, you will be able to use this for an upgrade once it's ready. Also das upgrade program gibt es ab 2024. Aber wenn man schon vorher dieses Gerät erworben hat, kann man natürlich rückwirkend diesen, an diesem Upgrade-Programm teilnehmen. Das war's zum Pulsar Telos LRF XP50 und es geht gleich weiter im nächsten Video.